Hey kids, welcome to our home. My name is Jeff, this is my wife Carrie, and my son Davin. Before we get to our youth Devo, I thought maybe we'd begin with a song. Let's sing, Oh What a Wonderful World. Are you ready? This is an easy song to learn, I hope you do it with us. What if all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops? Oh what a wonderful world it would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 What if all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops? Oh, what a wonderful world it would be. What if all the snowflakes were candy bars and milkshakes? Oh, what a wonderful world it would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah. What if all the snowflakes were candy bars and milkshakes? Oh, what a wonderful world it would be. What if all the people in this world were Christians? Oh, what a wonderful world it would be. I'd stand outside with my arms open wide. What if all the people in this world were Christians? Oh, what a wonderful world it would be. Thank you so much. For the Devo now, but I have one little activity. Davin, would you please be our volunteer? Yes, sir. All right. Carrie's going to give us one minute. We're going to have one minute to try to cover him up as best we can with this precious resource. All right. Okay. On your... Are you ready? Ready? Start the clock. All right. Hold it. Whoops. Oh. Oh no. Get it there. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to go maybe a minute thirty. <laughs> Now we're getting the hang of it slowly. Snap. Slowly. Don't snap it. And don't flex, Mr. Muscles. That's me. That's him. Okay. Maybe one more run. We're going to start moving down now. Okay. Sounds like we're about to be out of time. No, no, no. Oh, no. Our minute is up. When you're at home and you have a little bit more time, maybe give yourself two or three minutes. And maybe you'll be doing one of your brothers or sisters that's a little bit smaller. So at the same time, you're trying to wrap up all of his clothing. Now he has super long legs, so we're going to stop right about here because the, the paper's gone also. And he is clothed with TP. Davin, you may be free. Ah. Uh... There you go. Thank you so much for your help with that. No problem. I want to talk to you a little bit because the Bible talks a lot about putting on. There's this idea of putting off the things of the world, but putting on those things that are Christ-like. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12, it says, since we're chosen, since we're beloved, that the first thing he talks about is putting on the heart of compassion to put on the, the tender mercies, the New King James says. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Compassion. There's a lot going on in the world, and I think some people are so caught up, and we can't do that, that we forget to be kind and considerate and loving to those in need. There's things that we can do at home. But I want to start with God's Word in the time that we have and talk with you about Luke chapter 10. If you haven't ever heard the story, of the Good Samaritan, a, a, a lawyer asked Jesus, what shall he do to inherit heaven? He's kind of asking like if he wants to justify himself. And so he asked that question and Jesus says, this is a good memory verse, that you are to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And you are to love your neighbor as yourself. Right there, it gives us the whole enchilada of Christianity right there. To love God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength and to love your neighbor as yourself. Now he goes on to tell that lawyer about a man that was on the road to Jericho and he was taken by robbers. We talked about being clothed. Well, he was taken, he was unclothed 
and left for dead. And a priest and a, and a Levite both came by and seeing him in his distress, they, they went on the other side, ignoring his issue. But the Samaritan came along. And it says in verse 33, he had compassion on him. And he goes quickly into pouring the, the, the medicinal oils on his wounds and bandaging him. And even put him on his own donkey and took him to an inn and put him up for the night and gave the innkeeper extra money to, for the night. But he says, if anything else is owed, I'll come back and take care of it. Then he asked that lawyer, who was his neighbor? Because it says, love your neighbor as yourself. And the lawyer said, the one who showed mercy, he said, you said rightly. Now go and do likewise. Kids, you can have a great example about being compassionate to your other friends. And, and one of the ways we can do it is just, is just saying hi or trying to do something that gives back, like a can drive, showing compassion on those right now that might be in a difficult situation with food or maybe even with the, the supplies that are hard to come by. You might show compassion with just some of the little change you get from doing little maybe efforts or errands or uh, uh, chores around the house. Then you might put that in a little can. And I'm wearing a shirt here, the Southern Christian Children's Home. There's people out there that could really use your compassion. Because what a world would be if we were all Christians and showed that kind of love one to another. You know, in Psalms 103, verse 13 it says the, it's like a father, a good father, who shows compassion to his children. The Lord will show compassion to those that fear him. Fear him. I know that sounds scary, but that's not it. It just means a respect and a love, a reverence for God. When you love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and you love your neighbor as yourself, and guess what? Everybody's our neighbor. We're all in this together. Then we can find ways to give back to those in need, and that's what I'm asking you to do. Find somebody. Find some way to help your parents give back in this time. We hope you'll join us again for another Devo coming up soon. We want to continue on in Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. And the next one is kindness. Thank you so much. And we hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.